Good morning all. ESP8266 and ESP32. Uh, today I want to do something with these uh, Node MCU, I think they're called, modules, but I'm not actually sure what I want to do. In fact, I don't really know where to start with these things. So because I don't know where to start, I'm going to draw a diagram of scope. In other words, how far do the does the ESP subject extend? So let's start by drawing a circle in the middle and putting in ESP. Now I'm not going to put 8266 or 32 because it could be either. And I'm going to have arms radiating out from this with all the different subject areas that ESP encompasses. So this is a kind of uh, Buzan style mind map, but I'm going to use it more of a scope diagram. So uh, let's start. Let's just search for ESP on Google. So I've done a search for ESP8266 on Google, and here we have some of the modules. The uh, Node MCU module does appear to be one of the most popular at the moment. Uh, so there's all sorts of people selling ESP8266. We've got Wikipedia article, uh, Espressive, who make it, everything ESP8266. Ah, Esprino. Now there's something I need to write down on my scope diagram. So there we are, ESP and Esprino. Actually have no idea yet what Esprino is, so let's keep looking. Okay, so uh, we've got Internet of Things, uh, Esprino. Uh, we've got uh, the $5 microcontroller with Wi-Fi is now Arduino. So is Arduino and Esprino separate? I suppose I could put a spoke out to an Arduino circle. We've also got Micro Python. Oh, and there's a picture of me. So I've added in Arduino. I don't know whether that'll end up being the same as Esprino. Probably not. And uh, Micro Python seems to appear in the searches. Right, what else have we got? Uh, Nerd Space. That's a, a blog, I think. I think I've read Nerd Space before. Micro Python again. Micro Python. Uh, what else have we got? Embed. Is that relevant to me, embed? I suppose I should write it down, really. Right, OK, now I've done a search for ESP32, just to kind of move this thing along a bit. Uh, we've got Espressive there, ESP32, Internet of Things, first impressions of the ESP32. That's probably quite an old article. Uh, Lady Ada, Spark Fun, there's a Wikipedia article about it. Let's just do a next. And uh, that's going very slowly. I don't quite know why. Hackaday, I've got something on it. Uh, there isn't a lot of other stuff sort of connected with uh, Olimex. is a company that does uh, boards and things. So I don't think I can find anything from there. OK, I'm going to change tack now. Right, now I'm going to look at uh, the comments that were left on this postbag video I did, which is postbag 90. ESP8266 and ESP32, because I seem to remember the comments had lots of, oh, why don't you try this, why don't you try that? So I can add some of those to my scope diagram. I know why my PC is going slow now, it's because I'm running OBS to do the video capture. Um, right, OK, so let's start looking through some of these comments. Uh, Peter Scargill, definitely a guy to watch. He uh, does a blog um, with a lot of stuff on ESP8266. Uh, he's saying the ESP32 has nowhere near the support yet, but that's not going to stop me uh, trying the ESP32. The ESP8266, of course, has huge support. Um, let's keep going through this, and I'm going to try and pick out now uh, some people suggesting, why don't you go this route? Right, Dermot Gorman has said, even cheaper and smaller, smaller is the Wemos D1 Mini is that, Wemos D1. So I think I'll write Wemos D1 on my drawing. Right, this is interesting. Edward Cassati, Julian, please don't go with some obscure specialised programming language with no audience. Now, what's he referring to there? Possibly that Mongoose OS, but that's not a programming language. That's an OS. Uh, for the ESP series of chips, there are basically three options. Arduino, uh, starting at the simplest, MicroPython and native SDK. Anything else would be like narrating your videos in Esperanto. Um, people are then saying, what about Lua? Uh, and Edward said, no, I didn't include Lua as a mainstream language. 
Uh, check out CN Laws projects using Lua. So Lua is an option. Uh, I've already got Arduino and MicroPython. Native SDK, I hadn't actually heard it called that. Let's add that to the diagram. Right, this is interesting. Look, Perpetual says, how are you going about studying for these things? I recently pick up, picked up an ESP8266 and have no idea where to begin and it's just sitting on my shelf. That's, yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to address in this uh, video with my mind map. Right, I'll shoot you. Please, please, please look into the Blink.cc IoT dev system. Now, I've had a quick look at Blink and I know it's an app. I didn't know it was a development system. It also supports ESP32 and code everything in Arduino C++. So Blink is definitely going on my mind map. Right, here's another acronym that keeps popping up, MQTT. I don't quite know what MQTT is yet, but I've seen it, so that's going on my mind map. Uh, Dean says, oh, Julian, you have fallen behind with the ESP. Yes, I really have. I mean, that uh, ESP web-enabled LED I did um, was, I don't know, two years ago, three years ago, maybe, a long time ago, and I haven't looked at it since because it just, I well, I didn't know which way to go, and I couldn't work out whether it had matured yet. I think it probably has now. Uh, can't wait to see what you do with these. Controlling WS2812s. I'm pretty sure I've seen that over IST, IoT. Um, Alexa. Well, I'm hoping it will interface with my Google Home, possibly, but that's probably a bit further down the line. Uh, take a look at videos by Andreas Spice. Yes, I have watched him. Some of them do look quite complicated, though, um, but I'll certainly keep an eye on him. Maybe I should add names to my mind map as well. Perhaps I'll do that. Right, now Ian McDonald says, would recommend Mongoose OS. Uh, incredibly useful to send messages from Amazon AWS. And now that's something that Amazon, a service they provide, I'm not quite sure what that is yet. But yeah, Mongoose OS and Amazon AWS are going on my diagram. Uh, oh, Paul Martin says, Mongoose OS is very cool. Best of luck with it. Right, here's another one. Uh, S Burner Firmware and FOMO Wemo Library. No idea what that is, but I better write it down. Uh, Mr. Tim Cakes. Personally, I'd recommend the Esprino project over Mongoose OS. Gordon, the creator of Esprino, is really active on the forums. Well, actually, so is Mongoose OS because they got in touch with me and I noticed that they are still putting videos out, uh, tutorial videos. So I think either would be good in terms of uh, being up to date and being actively uh, worked on. Uh, Arduino IDE, uh, MicroPython, Arduino IDE, MicroPython, Blink, yep, got all those. So is that it? Is that the world of ESP? Have I included everything I need to include uh, so that I can start this project and know which direction it's going in? Uh, know that I haven't missed out anything critically important or obvious. I hope that's everything. Um, if it's not, by all means, let me know and I'll add uh, anything else, as long as it's not too obscure, to this diagram. Now I've got to decide which way I want to go. Now, like the guy said, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Now, Mongoose got in touch with me and said, use our OS. It's really incredibly easy. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, but I might look at Esprino as well, because that guy who said, don't use Mongoose, use Esprino. So maybe I'll have a go at that as a separate thread. Um, Blink app also looks very easy to use, uh, nicely laid out. It's an app that you put on your uh, phone or tablet. And then you can set up little buttons where you can, I don't know, switch an LED on and off or something over the Wi-Fi link. So I think these two are uh, attracting me at the moment. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that to start with. But if, you know, if I find out I don't like Mongoose or that it doesn't uh, do the things I want to do, then maybe I'll switch to Esprino but, um, or even the Arduino native SDK. These two are probably the same. Uh, or do I go MicroPython? <laughs> it's just so difficult to decide. Right, so let's have a little look at my choices. This is Mongoose OS. Reduce IoT firmware development time up to 90%. Um, I seem to remember at one point this said it was incredibly easy to use. An open source operating system for the Internet of Things. So it's open source, that's good. 
supported microcontrollers ESP32, ESP8266, and those other two. Uh, Amazon AWS IoT integrated. Now, is Amazon AOS going to cost me anything? If, is there a free version of it? I certainly hope there is. Code in C or JavaScript. Okay, now let's look at Blink. Right, okay, uh, Blink.cc, the most popular mobile app for the IoT, works with anything. ESP8266, Arduino, Raspberry Pi, SparkFun, and others. Well, that seems quite promising. Right, just while I'm here, I'm going to have a quick look at uh, Esprino.com. Um, this one, I'm having more trouble sort of working out where I'm supposed to be looking. Choose your board for different devices. I mean, do I have to buy a board, or will this work on uh, ESP8266, ESP32? The Node MCU boards. Can't see those on here. JavaScript responsive, fully open source, crowdfunded. Get Esprino, buy Esprino. This one just isn't attracting me as much as the Mongoose OS, which said that it's open source, free. This is kind of saying buy stuff. I mean, maybe I'm getting the wrong impression from this front page, or is that the front page? Puck.js. Yeah, I'm just not getting a message here that says this is going to be easy and free. Um, right, Esprino Web IDE makes coding even easier. Well, that certainly appeals to me. I don't like the look of that, quite frankly, but that's just me. Uh, the graphical editor lets you use Esprino even if you can't code. That's very appealing. This isn't. Get started today. Buy an Esprino board, just $24.95 or £20. Right, I've just now done a search for Mongoose Blink, and we have a video here called ESP8266, Mongoose OS and Blink, uploaded uh, by Mongoose OS. We also have Peter Scargill has um, an article on Blink, and another article on Mongoose OS, which I've just read, and he seems to like it. Uh, it seemed to work, so that's it. That's confirmed it for me. I'm going to go down the Mongoose OS and Blink route, both on the ESP8266 and the ESP32. So that's it. I've made my decision. I'm going to go Mongoose OS, uh, Blink app, and do the sort of simple uh, tutorial stuff, which I think is just get a button to respond and flash an LED, and nice simple stuff like that. The question is whether or not I can then go on to do more complex and more useful stuff. And if, you know, later on it turns out that I made a wrong choice here and I should have gone this route or something, well, I'm sure that will become apparent. But this is the route I'm going to take uh, to start. So in the next video, I'm going to get one of these uh, modules. Here they are. And uh, do these two things. A moment. Cheerio.